Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season 14. Uh, we're going to be doing some progressive world on, on Las Vegas, which is the map of the week. Um, for those of you who are new to the seasonal reset, uh, what happens is um, all players who played a game last season are reset to their base rank. Um, so 2600 threshold for Grandmaster, 1600 threshold for uh, master and so on um, and then we we grind up from there and the season is 55 days remaining i'm just putting bots in the lobby and kicking them as actual players come in i'm trying to fire a true six player game on las vegas and let's see how long that takes ideally the way i would redesign the lobby is i would have um the ready be on the outside but you would also be um, the ready be equivalent to the enter, but you would also have all the information um, available to you from the outside, including number of bots, right? So you couldn't just join and leave. Joining and leaving is the problem. So I'm going to cut through all the bullshit to try and get a game to fire, and we will rejoin you when it does. All right, we got six players. Let's see if they all readied up. That took way too long. <laughs> and of course, this would easily be solved if the ready was equivalent to entering the lobby. What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I'm Pete, I'm a top player in risk global domination. Yeah, of course. I have a daily release on YouTube, I do week night streams on Twitch, and if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels, come along the ride with me. We get a five player game with one bot. <laughs> on Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada is the map of the week, auto, uh, 60 second turn expert automated bot with progressive cards and then nothing fancy. No fog, no portals, no blizz, no alliances. First thing you're going to want to look at in Las Vegas is the bonuses. The Las Vegas proper worth seven, North Las Vegas worth four. A two for two, Sunrise Manor, four for four, Greater Whitney, and then three for three, three for three, Paradise in the Strip, four for four, four for four, Enterprise in Spring Valley. Henderson, the bottom worth seven, and Lake Mead is worth plus four if you can hold it. So, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada in a good neighbor meta might turn into a bonus game. This is a really, really unlucky situation for me. If the bot decides to put its five troops on that six roll and 11 V five, I lose a five stack in the open. Um, having the purple bot be there and have me go last <coughs> varies suboptimal. I don't want to lose seven of my spawning troops to a bot attack, but that might be the way it goes. Um, Players, this game we got Pearly Goya flying the flag of Spain, playing as Magenta in the second seat. The black players, the Nexotis, playing as Black. I said that from USA. Uh, blue player, General the Posh, one hundred five oh one. Also from USA, the red player is Boyd Lang, flying the flag of Germany. The uh, purple player is an expert AI, and I'm in the final seat, playing as White. This is my anything goes account, and this will be our first ranked game in the new season. Looks like we've lost blue as well. Yep. And another thing, we should probably punish bot outs turn one. Because I didn't want to play a game with two bots. So certain things could be redesigned. And red takes a plus three. Okay. Rolls through a, a blue stack. Puts the two into the one. Yep. I hope the bot breaks that rather than rolling my five. Bot does an alternative play. Goes to the other bonus. Oh, please roll eight v two. Yes, it does. Bot goes bad neighbor to red. We like that. We really like that. Okay. Um, bot goes really bad neighbor to red. Poor red. Poor, poor red. Gets fucked right up by that bot. Okay. And I didn't take any of it. I didn't taste any of it. Uh, let's see if we roll a 73. And put the rest of our troops in the top left. 73 is a hundred percent roll. We're going to hit the bot here. I uh, read like that. I don't think I take this one. Maybe I do. I do take this bonus. Why the hell not? Red will like that. Red will be happy that I. But maybe not. And we definitely remove our two stack from the other continent. The bot is trying to take. Uh, so all the bot luck there went my way. Turn two. <laughs> We got blues a bot as well. We got to watch out for. Looks like Magenta's interested in the top left of the map. 
thing about Las Vegas in terms of design, it really does focus all the action into the middle of the board. But if you look at this section of the board, this is where all the holdable bonuses are. Someone usually does take the right-hand side, but it's more about this section. Oh, okay. Okay. Black Black decides to take a terrible roll and, and loses badly. <laughs> so in a non-bonus taking world, in, in the previous era where people were bad neighbor consistently, um, I would like to hang out in a two or three position play on the outside of the map and kind of allow players to focus, uh, hit each other in the middle, and then swoop and make my kills when the time was right. Now I think taking a bonus is okay, considering I was pretty much gifted it. Uh, there is a world maybe where we see blue roll 7v5, which would be terrible for black. Black's already kind of on the back foot as well. So far, everything's gone right for me this game. This might just be a, a dominating crushing performance for the old people, but you never know. Um, it could change at any moment. I don't know why Blue hasn't fully bought it out. Maybe their connection is just shitty? I see Blue not to take a card again. And this is actually good for me considering I'm the only one holding bonuses, so the card sequence slowing down benefits me. Yeah, so blue fully misses two entire turns. My prediction is I see we see red go pop pop. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I broke them after that? <laughs> now they're gonna break me. Oh, they're gonna break me. No, they're a bot. Ah, they quit the game too. Okay. Okay, uh, three bots, three humans. Didn't expect that. Didn't realize he quit. Okay. Playing against black and purple in a heavy bot environment. I think it's fine to retake my bonus. Yeah, I think it's fine to retake my bonus. And just start there. Start from the bottom left. My two human opponents aren't going to break me. And we'll work on second bonus. I should probably move my six, though. I don't like it being on purple boss border. Might just roll it accidentally. I, I do need a, a bonus and a second position. If you're not going to do a non-bonus three-positional game... You're definitely going to want to be in two places, minimum. Okay, so it actually does look like Magenta is going for a large bonus, which is not. Um, that bonus is just too large large to hold. And I'll, I'll actually show you. It's it's a really, really big bonus. So this Las Vegas bonus goes all the way to the middle, one, two, these territories, as well as the top left corner. <laughs> Black tries to break me. They also try to okay, so black's a total noob. I don't think I don't think my remaining two opponents are very good, folks. I think I steamroll lobby. I think I absolutely steamroll this lobby now. Okay, blue bot working on the Henderson bonus. No, on the uh, North La North Las Vegas bonus. Oh man, and black gets a successful break on the bot, but not me. We love to see this. Okay, red's going to take their own bonus. I'm going to break that. Yeah, I'm going to break that. So I'm surrounded by red. Man, I could almost eliminate them. Bot retakes. So I think I just push out into multiple directions here.
one troop exterior, two troops are going to 100% roll, two troops are going to 100% roll. I'm going to do a pop pop in the bots bonus. So I'm going to hit this bot fairly hard. One here. I'm going to hit black because they tried to break me. Get the fuck out of my face. Uh, we're going to hit the bot here to break. And we're going to take one more there so they don't get the bright idea. Keep. I'm going to take that bonus. Maybe I hit them once more even. No, we don't have to rush it. Sitting here, I have a pretty solid guard on the bottom left. As long as Magenta doesn't get scared. But Magenta does get four troops, so they do have some advantage. They are still working on that plus seven. <laughs> oh, they set! Okay, okay, they set early to take that plus seven. They still won't quite have it here. Yeah, they still don't quite have it here. So Magenta willingly gave up their card equity. Because bots will trade early. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, and that's funny. And Black says, if you can't beat him, join him. And they takes their own bonus. <laughs> the bot's going to break that. Poor black, man. Maybe blue hits it? 5v3? Okay. Yeah, we do see it. <laughs> oh, poor black, man. Okay. Okay, I am now the last air to a bot bonus, so... This is something to always pay attention to. So blue bot now controls all of that, except for my seven. So the blue bot is going to prioritize hitting this territory. Uh, assuming it's a continent taker. We're going to want to make sure that if we want to keep that seven, we move it away. Red continues to insist on trying to take bonuses on my border. We're not going to allow the red bot to do that. And I'm happy to keep a, just a little buffer zone between me and. Red. Let's get a hundred percent roll there. Let's get a hundred percent roll here. And let's take this, but not expect to hold it. So let's take it and pull our stack back to a somewhat of a guard position. I can get both my bonuses broken here and I don't care. I'm holding a lot of board. And someone would actually have to dedicate themselves to do that. Magenta doesn't take their bonus. They're just worried about their side of the board. Cool. That's great. They're not even trying to take their bonus. Maybe they break me here. That's okay. Yeah, go for the break. I don't blame you. They don't even. Okay, Magenta is really playing a bad, a bad fixed game here, right? The locked six, no additional position that they've invested in, and they're not even holding the bonus they're taking. Okay, black sets. I don't think they break me. I think they break purple here. If that all goes up my ass, then cool. That's fine. Yeah, it does. That goes down into me. Yes, it does. Ah, cool. Good for you. Good for you. You got to stop me. But there's a bot next to you, right? But there's a bot next to you. So that's not going to be good for you either. Okay, he's got a single 11 stack in the middle of the board. So now what I do is I remove a bunch of black and either feed their kill or kill them myself. Also, the red kill is super viable here. So how do we kill red? Let's see. What's the set? Does red set on four is the problem? We don't have cards. Fuck. We can't kill red. Too bad. Okay. Yep. Blue helps me by eliminating some black. Blue helps me by eliminating some black. Love that. Thank you, blue. Didn't take their own bonus. All right. And red, no set? No set. Okay. Maybe I kill red here. 
don't quite have the troops, do I? Connect yourself. Even that doesn't help. Don't quite have the troops. Fuck. If I had a set here, I could kill red. Okay, maybe purple helps me. Hit some red here. Or hit the black 11. That would be so funny. Hit the black 11. Okay, good. <laughs> It'll, hitting a little bit of red is good. Hitting a little more red is good. All right, there's a chance, folks. All right, all right, all right, all right. So if this is a 10, what do I have to win? Two threes? Is that too risky? Let's try it, man. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to win seven across. Nah, it's not gonna it's not gonna land. Oh, I'm so torn about this decision. What's the set? Ten. If I had cards, I'd do it for sure. I want to play to win. So we're gonna hit black. And we're gonna hit black. Break me twice, fool on me. Is that how it goes? <laughs> fool me twice, break break on me, what? What's wrong with my brain? Okay, black's in two positions, two cards, 12 troops. I can kill black next turn profitably, even if red set. So we don't hinge our game on killing a botted out player. We hinge our game on a much more higher percentage play to kill a human opponent, right? Black will die. I'm going to kill him. I'm, I might give him the lowest placement for breaking me. That's what you get. You should have taken your own bonus. Good neighbors rewarded. Bad neighbors punished. What are you going to do? Black, take a third card, please. Or I kill you. Yeah, I might give black the lowest placement here. And I don't feel terribly bad about it. Other than the fact that bonded out players should get no rank. <laughs> okay, blue bot takes her own bonus finally. Takes two bonuses in the same turn. Here and here. Ooh, helps me with the black hill. Love that. Thank you, blue bot. Yeah, we'll just push it. Go into 1v1. With, with magenta. Breaks? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Purple holding. 35. Oh man, purple might get the black hill. 10v8? Oh no, he steals it from me. Okay, good, he doesn't get it. <laughs> Fuck that guy. All right. And. I don't want to feed any kills. This positions me well to get the red and or purple kill. And no set on three. Maybe I prioritize killing Magenta. Because they're human, but kind of want to give Magenta a second. Still doesn't take Las Vegas. He still doesn't take it. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Blues are a four and 24. Do they set? I can actually get blue, I think, pretty easily. That that's probably the line. Ah, uh, they do set. Never mind. Okay. Uh red, 20 and 3. Alright, that's my kill. I kill red. Kill red set.
Next purple. Actually, red and purple are, are the same. Purple's now actually weaker. Purple's the better kill. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break me, please. Break me. I need those bonuses so badly. Uh. How do I get the two? I have to roll through a purple four. I think I just hit. Yeah. And good. <laughs> Feeds me the purple kill. All right. Kill purple kill. Kill purple set. Kill red set. Win the game. And that's a GG, folks. Unless he sets here. Yeah. Kill purple set. Kill red set. Win the game. GG. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Quick one. 20-minute game. Feels good. Let's slide her a bit just so that we minimize our troop loss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 91 percent roll watch me fail that fuck that's ah, all right we get it guys always had it never didn't have it So we pummel magenta. Good game, sir. Yeah. Yep. We kill everyone. Four out of five kills. Feels good. I love those sweep endings for Prague. Very satisfying. Hope you all enjoyed, folks. And good luck to you this season. I'm not telling anyone the grind I'm doing, but maybe you can figure it out. Um. Oh, there's a blue stack. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed a blue stack in the corner. Hey, <laughs> get fucked. Inaccuracy. All right, someone, uh, someone in the comments can be like, ah, when you, when you missed that last territory, I shuddered and my balls shrunk up into my, uh, central cavity folks. Thank you for watching. Um, and all the nitpickers can enjoy black was an expert, eh? But you break so much. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I expected black to be okay. So they like an expert. Maybe he's new to Prague. Uh, defeating one novice, two beginners, and an expert. Hope you all enjoy. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on Freebeat, a daily release on the Kill Piece strategy. Like, click the notifications, do all the things. I love you. I appreciate you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.